if we observe over the years in mathematics calculus and coordinate geometry have always been the fault almost 50 to 60 percent of the marks come from these two and if you have been preparing for the last couple of years you know that it is easier to score in those two areas though algebra is also there with good weightage you know that the topics in algebra are all independent and you have to do a lot of work to master those independent topics if you have already done enough work on coordinate geometry and calculus friend and are confident in executing in recollecting the different formulae in algebra you can make an attempt remember this four or five days there's no point going for new topics you must always look into your strong areas and the key areas to revisit in mathematics are locus in coordinate geometry as far as the 11th class syllabus is concerned then straight lines are prevalent anywhere so it is uh, the circles connected with parabola and ellipse this is where you have to focus as it's not like a single question a simple question in one chapter iit je has always been you know combining uh, you know chapters to get a good question to bring out the qualities of students it's a combined question that is always expected in coordinate geometry so do focus on uh, locus problems and then circles connected with parabola and you now ellipse then moving on to uh, differential calculus and integral calculus it is differentiating a definite integral that is more important and if i recollect there were four questions in one question paper on differentiating a definite integral so do re, uh, do look into that and practice differentiating a definite integral uh, don't forget that right and then uh, definite integral properties of definite integral and of course differential equations you need not worry on differential equations as there will be only uh, first order differential equations so it would be very easy and of course those who are preparing physics well they know how to form a differential equation so this is what and of course differentiability from uh, the differential calculus then moving on to probability the bayes theorem or the inverse probability that is where uh, a question you know is being set almost uh, uh, invariably every year so do uh, look into that bayes theorem is important and then in vector algebra the angle bisectors vector equation of a line so it's better to you know focus on that to revisit what are internal angle bisectors external angle bisectors then uh, moving on to trigonometry it is the trigonometric equations so the questions will be simple and you are better off solving trigonometric equations on the inverse trigonometry front you may have to you know be more uh, laborious disciplined to look into even the domains and others as far as the inverse trigonometric functions are concerned so it's better trigonometric equations uh, if you look into that and look into the different models that you have already solved or look into the previous years iit papers you will get a better idea graphical solutions graphical transformations this is worth referring to as they will not only help you solve uh, equations but also to have a better idea on the graph of a function it's always better graphical transformations be revisited then uh, let's move on to uh, permutations and combinations the counting principles like the sum principle the product rule the principle of inclusion and exclusion on which most of the questions are you know framed and then the pc and hole principle there's no point going through an elaborative manner in this hardly one question or two questions at the most if it is well within your reach if my memory permits one year they have asked a question how to arrange the letters of the word banana if that is uh, if, if the question is that much simple you can easily answer if it is more typical then it's better you leave that and go for the other easy, more easier questions from coordinate geometry and calculus remember that iit is not difficult it is a bit different it's going to test your skills not only on the academic front but also your ability to withstand the pressure your ability to read the question understand the question comprehend it 
and then solve the question. As we all know, IIT exam is made up of two papers, paper one in the morning, paper two in the afternoon. It's the score in both the papers that count. So even if you are doing a question badly, a paper badly, you need not worry. You should not feel that the exam is over until you come out of the examination hall by 5 p.m., right, after completing the second paper. And remember that this time it is a computer-based test. So many mock tests are available on the IIT website. You might have already gone through, you might have already practiced. If you have not done so yet, so then visit the site, go through the advisors that are given there and practice a test or two so that you will have an idea how to select a particular question. There are options on the site which will show you the complete question paper and I always advise to go through all the questions and tick the questions that you can answer. Remember, the cutoffs will not be very high. Even we have seen on the mains front that the cutoff on the general category front is only 74. And we also know that only 62,000 people on the general category front have applied for IIT JEE advance. So, it's a matter of scoring as many as you can. Do not try to attempt those questions which are beyond your reach. The simple fact is, understand your strengths and work on them only. If you lose too many through negatives, and if the cutoff is very low, then you may not forgive yourself. So first, take all the questions that you can answer. As I said earlier, coordinate geometry and calculus are those where you can attempt a few questions. Algebra is a bit difficult, then the other two, vector algebra, probability, these are the areas. If easy questions are set on that, you can always solve them. But if difficult questions come, there is nothing wrong putting them aside and answering questions on coordinate geometry and calculus first. Remember, as you go on solving a few questions, your confidence will grow. As you grow in confidence, your mind opens up and allows you to read an ambiguous question or as it appears ambiguous, it may appear ambiguous because you are under tension. And once some, some questions you have answered and some marks are there in your kitty, your confidence will grow in leaps and bounds. And that frees your mind and lets you read the question easily. And when you read a question, understand it, there is a very high chance of answering it correctly. And remember the time allotment. I, I always advise a 40 minutes workout for every subject. And once you have crossed those 40 minutes and still uh, you find you know a few questions left over and already the subject is easier we find then you can continue working that until you spare that one hour and if you find the subject difficult then you after 40 minutes you better move to the next subject and again go with those 40 minutes slot and go through the same procedure and go to the other subject Stop worrying if the first few initial questions are difficult. Remember that not all the 18 or 20 questions that they have been giving in earlier years are difficult. Maybe around 15% or 20% of the questions. One fifth of the paper you may find it difficult. The remaining que questions will be very easy. So attempt those first which you can. After getting some marks on that, even the difficult questions appear easy for you. We have discussed earlier calculus and coordinate geometry and then Algebra, then later on the simple application oriented chapters like trigonometry, vector algebra, probability, the other things, the simple chapters like you know uh, induction or something if at all there is a question on that, right. You know that the IIT paper you cannot you know make a guess on that. How the pattern is going to be only when you open the question paper you will come to know. So remain confident. The first thing is to remain confident. Remain confident whatever the pattern it may be, definitely uh, four-fifths of the paper is within your reach. So carefully mark the questions and attempt them. And be careful with your numerical errors. There may be 
some questions where there is no negative marking there will be a few questions where there will be negative marking to the extent of minus two marks so read the instructions carefully anyway when you start the examination this time on the computer based test you will be taken through a, a video which will tell you what to do to practice a question or two you can do it there so reach the examination hall early get into the examination hall and go through that uh, you know that video then you will understand clearly and don't get excited don't get exhausted as well avoid the extremes the IIT question papers are designed so not to not only to test your uh, academic skills but also the other capabilities as well hold your nerve you can hold your seat in the IITs all the best